Greetings, First Presbyterian Church family. And this message actually may go out before Thursday. It's an official Thursday thought. This is for Thanksgiving. I'm recording it on Tuesday. And what a difference a week makes. It's very pleasant, still on the cool side, but you've got sun as you can see. And I'm back at Town East Park. Um, last time I recorded, I just did a stood in one place and just kind of scanned as I spoke. Uh, but I'm back here and I'm gonna, I like bridges, okay? I, <laughs> I just laugh at myself, but I've gone these some of these parks, I've got these bridges and uh, I'm just easily amused as y'all have figured out by now. And uh, so I thought I'd record and I had to start from a certain angle because of the sun, which was not an issue last time. Uh, kind of on this side, walk around uh, and share a few thoughts for you. Like I said, I'm back at Town East. I see cars. Uh, there's some people where school's out, are, pra are playing. So I'm sure those vehicles go with parents and uh, there may be a few uh, Uber drivers, Uber Eats people. Uh, it's a good place to wait uh, while um, they get their next order. And uh, I'm just gonna walk off the path and get a little more nature here. Uh, so you're not looking at trash cans and all of that. Uh, I just wanted to share one thought today. And this is from Peter Marshall. As some may know, I like to uh, quote him. Um, prayers that he has used and sometimes I use the prayers and sometimes I adapt them. Uh, but I wanna just share this uh, family grace for Thanksgiving dinner as my Thursday thought. As I enjoy this park and uh, all that is here. Let us pray. Father, we around this table thank thee for thy great gift of life. For thy love for us is not dependent upon any worthiness of ours. For good health, we thank you for good health that we know neither hunger nor want. For warm clothes to wear for those who love us best, for friends whose words of encouragement have often chased away dark clouds, for the zest of living, for many an answered prayer, for kindly providences that have preserved us from danger and harm. We thank thee that we still, that still we live in a land bountifully able to supply all of our needs, a land which still by thy providence knows peace, whose skies are not darkened by the match by the machines of the enemy, whose fields and woodlands are still unblasted by the flames of war, a land with peaceful valleys and smiling and smiling meadows still serene. Oh help us to appreciate all that we have, to be content with it, to be grateful for it to be proud of it, not in an arrogant pride that boasts, but in a grateful pride that strives to be more worthy. In thy name, to whose bounty we owe these blessings spread before us, to thee we give our gratitude, amen. So, again, much for which to be grateful. Let's see, actually there are two kind of moms over there, one, one with several and one with a few, one with one just chasing around. Or maybe it's an older sibling. That's the noise you hear in the background. And then I, looking to my right, and I see parents with a small child and brings back some memories myself. So again, it's a nice day here at the park, Town East Park. You want to check it out sometime. And uh, wishing you all a very good Thanksgiving.